Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about the cholinergic medications. These medications primarily act on the parasympathetic system by altering acetylcholine receptors, and this can be done either directly or indirectly. The direct acting cholinergic medications primarily work as acetylcholine, so they trigger the same response as if acetylcholine have triggered the receptor. On the other hand, the indirectly working medications work by preventing the breaking down of acetylcholine. So they indirectly increase the concentration of acetylcholine at the synapse. The indications include myasthenia gravies, for which the indirect acting medications, the anticholinesterase inhibitors, are the first line. We commonly use neostigmine and pyridostigmine. They can also be used in dementia because neuroscience research have taught us that a lot of parts relating to dementia are caused by decrease in acetylcholine and they have a wide range of usage in ophthalmology. For example, pilocarbine can be used to increase the outflow of aqueous humerus, which decreases the tension within the eyes. And they have some mitotic activities, which is beneficial for eye surgeries. They can also be used for post-op urinary retention, as activation of the parasympathetic system promotes diuresis. They can be used to treat neurogenic bladder, and the first medication in this line is the bethanocol. They can be used to treat colonic pseudo obstruction, and the first medication we use is neostigmine. They can be used in xerostomia to promote the release of the salivary fluid. And sometimes they can be used as antivenom in snake bites, for which we use neostigmine. To remember the contraindications, think of the situations where you don't want parasympathetic activation, such as bronchial asthma, peptic ulcer disease, arrhythmias, coronary artery diseases, closed angle glaucomas, hyperthyroidism, urinary obstruction, orthostatic hypotension, and severe meiosis. And here's a small quiz. Which of the following medications is used in myasthenia gravis? And here is the answer.